This is for Congresswoman Johnson. Right now, Attorney General Richard Blumenthal has a lawsuit against the federal No Child Left Behind Act of what he calls unfunded mandates. How can that be reformed or more money come to the state to re relieve some of the burdens on the schools? Okay. Uh, thank you. You know, I don't support the Attorney General's suit, and this is why. No Child Left Behind is a very narrow mandate, and the mandate's funded. The mandate is only about testing. The problem is that children aren't just about mm -hmm. testing. And we need to follow up what we have learned from No Child Left Behind. And remember, what we've learned from No Child Left Behind is big. Connecticut has excellent schools. I'm blessed to represent a lot of excellent schools. You and Danbury here are blessed to have very good schools, lots of the surrounding towns. But we also have the biggest gap. Does that make you proud? The biggest gap between those who are doing well and those who aren't. And those who aren't are mostly in the city. Half of our minority kids nationwide are not graduating from high school, and of the half that do, half of those can't read and don't do math. Now, it's a shameful national record, and we put it on the table and we found it out. Now, we, and I have been careful to make sure that Title I monies went up and the testing got paid for, but we have to do much more than that. We have to reform the program because you absolutely can't have a whole school be made to appear as failing when one small subgroup did, and it's a subgroup that can't in the long run pass the test anyway because of the particular disabilities of the people in the subgroup. So we have to change that approach. There's, uh, we, we have to eliminate, we have to completely change the definition of special ed child. Remember, this is a bill negotiated by Senator Kennedy's staff and the President's staff. And most of us, most of this testing stuff, in fact, wasn't in the House bill. We all accepted it because we sort of thought they must have come out with something reasonable. Lots of parts of that bill are not reasonable. But I want not only to change the law, and I spent a lot of time in schools talking to principals and superintendents, so I'm prepared to do that next year, but we need more money to go directly to schools, not through the State Department of Education, directly to the schools that have a plan to address their problems and succeed, and they know how to do it. Chris? Thank you. I want to return to the last question for a moment, because uh, I think it is uh, somewhat surprising to us to hear a defense of Congressman Johnson's independence, because as we look at the most important issues that we face, the Medicare prescription drug law, the war in Iraq, uh, the president's uh, energy policies, the very backwards Bush budget, uh, on all of those issues, Congressman Johnson sometimes isn't just a cheerleader for this president, sometimes she's the decision-making, uh, the tie-breaking vote. Uh, that's not uh, independence. Um, that's a degree of loyalty that, very, that a lot of people in this district are very angry about. And the reason that there is enthusiasm behind Ned Lamont's candidacy is that people are crying out for a change in Washington. They're crying out for people, for, for people to go down there and stand up, not just to this president, but to all of the special interests that control that place right now. And that's why people are rallying around uh, Ned Lamont uh, today. Now let's talk about uh, education, because this is the second time that I've heard Congressman Johnson tell us that the only mandate in the No Child Left Behind Act is testing. Now, you go into any of the schools in this district, and they'll tell you that they think the mandate is a little bit broader than, uh, than handing out number two pencils uh, to students. They know the mandate is uh, about forcing schools who fall on a list uh, with sometimes arbitrary measures to get off that list, that the mandate uh, is, to, uh, is to give more tests, to do more training for teachers. Uh, and a lot of schools are okay with uh, improving the quality of education, so long as there's money behind it. And this notion that the No Child Left Behind Act is fully funded is a fiction. It's a fiction. <laughs> And, and again, refer to stories in the Hartford Current and almost every other major publication uh, in the state to tell you that in this last year, uh, the No Child Left Behind Act was $18 million underfunded for the state of Connecticut below what the authorizing act uh, allowed for. That's why the Attorney General uh, has sued, uh, because we all agree here in the state of Connecticut, those of us that are dealing with it on the ground floor, uh, that we didn't put our money where our mouth was.